Prepare for battle. Hey, what is going on? CC Cam here, and you guys are winners, and welcome to Wolf Knight vs. Seeky on Boil. Seeky's just said he's one, never dueled this three, map before, so here we are. We have Wolf Knight's point of view. This is a slightly different game from the one we saw before. It's quite clear that Seeky's never played this map before because the spawns usually are very close tonight and you really know which one you've got if you know where you're going. Uh, so yeah, the map we had before was Tommy versus uh, Solid on Hub, so that was a really close game between two top level players on a map that both were new, whereas this is going to be more of a sort of mixed Skill, but since Wolf, I know Wolfsnow has played this a few times before, he's actually quite good at this map uh, from when I've played him before. As you can see, he's got some of them <laughs> bloody good tricks and he knows where his opponent's coming from. And a very nice first blood to start us off with some nice tactics moving around the map and keeping it in control. Could do a little bit of damage to himself there, but not too bad. And Seeky just trying to stay out of trouble, get around. This map has a hell of a lot of verticality to it. The next, in fact, is probably, I would say, one of the weakest weapons on this map. Did not know you could get through there, actually. Yeah, the, but the next is quite a weak weapon. Just because there's not very many sort of points you can use it, you have to get right in there. And just use it with that next to uh, next to grenade. So Wolfsnap going down there. Score's now been equalised. He's now going to try and get away. He's quite low. But we'll see what happens here. See if he's going to come in. He's got to get away. He doesn't have any weapons. He's only got that next, which as we've discussed, not the greatest weapon. Seeky going to go in. Seeky, you can tell, is playing quite an aggressive game right now. You can tell it's a map he doesn't know, but he knows he can pushes he's probably got the fighting advantage wolf snipe is a very very tactical player he plays a very slow game he spams a lot it really annoys me when i'm having a bad day <laughs> because i'll lose to something he'll massively outplay me it'll feel like bullshit but actually he's just really good at what he does and the way he plays so he's going to move off here and he knows this item's up he's going to take he's going to know where his opponent is and he's going to deal damage just like that. Then he'll fall down and he'll chase you, but he'll never take a fight directly. Which, he he's not the greatest in this sort of fight. He's not one of the best fighters. But he's one of the best people for getting into the position to put himself into the best fight. Seeky, on the other hand, is quite an aggressive player from what I've seen. Uh, both players are on about equal ping here. Uh, about the 60s, 70s sort of mark, so that's not going to be an issue. Wolf Snipe. Be oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's very nice. Wolf Snipe plays quite aggressive towards this point here now. Gets a nice turn on Seeky there. He could push in for more, but he's not going to. I think that item will be up very soon, and there it is. So he's going to pick that up and that's why he wasn't pushing the issue. He didn't want Seeky to be able to sneak around, get back up, grab that. Seeky's probably got a decent amount of health now, but not very much armour. And now that mega health has gone to Wolf Snipe. Seeky's in a bad position and Wolf needs to just push that little bit more. Seeky comes out in a bad position. Going to get a bit of damage, but actually does probably about the same in return to Wolf Snipe. It's just Wolf Snipe's got a little bit more to lose. Probably head over to try and pick up this 50, but I think that's the 100 mega armor going over to Seeky. But now I'd say they're about an even stack. Seeky slightly less due to that health, but I'd say they've both got 100 armor. And now Wolf's not getting that health, mega health. He's going to be able to push it up a little bit harder again. But it tends to be that Wolf Snipe won't do that. He won't take this, especially when he's got this advantage. He can play really quickly, really fast. But as we're seeing here, he's not the best in those close combat situations. Seeky takes that fight, despite the fact that he was really not in the best position to do so. Wolf Snipe's going to need to be clever here. He makes beautiful movement around the back and does pick up that armor, but it's not going to be enough to keep him in the business. So here he should be able to get this armor if he's very careful you can very easily hit that armor point Seeky now knows where he is but you can very easily hit that armor point with spam shots with rockets with whatever 
and quite easily do just that little bit of damage that you might need to do. To even deflect someone straight off, that's some beautiful movement, using that blaster to get around the map. Something that I tend to forget to do coming from a lot of other games and playing. I tend to forget the nuances of using certain weapons, just using it generally as a rocket launcher. But if you can learn to use it as a separate weapon, you can really get some nice movement skills with it. So if you see people who do it solid, it's insane. Uh, Dodger does it on a lot of maps as well, but Dodger's got insane movement outside of that and just flies around doing whatever he likes anyway. So the score's 5-3, to three. we've got 4.5 minutes left on the clock. And again we're seeing this slowdown from Wolf Sniper. Seeky flies around the map quite quickly here, trying to find Wolf Snipe. Wolf Snipe just backing off, playing the defense, getting a little bit of damage in, trying to bait out a risky push, trying to get him down. And he knows sometimes Seeky's going to push in when he's low. And just trying to make it but by pushing back, you make your, feel, your opponent feel that you've got low stack, even when you've actually got 100-100 or a really nice stack. You, know, you could just picked up the mega armor and the mega health, and your opponent might think by your plus backing that they've hit you a few more times, they've done a bit more damage, or maybe you never even picked up that health, so it can even bait them to go to an item that's not going to be there for another 25 seconds. But that's what seems to be baiting Seeky in right now, as Wolf Snipe plays a really passive game. He's three frags down, but still playing this sort of passive game. He makes an amazing move, he uses all his health. He's certainly got control over the items right now. And it's just about taking that control of the items, taking that control of the map, being able to convert it into those frags as he's starting to do now. So with three minutes left, it's easily doable. Certainly doable. I suppose not easily, but you know. But it's nowhere near impossible to do. He's going to that mega, it seems. He must just be waiting on hearing Seeky. He's just got to try and get some damage out. It's very quick rotation between the items, but only in one direction. So you, you can go the slower way or you can go the faster way, but if you go the slower way, you've got a better chance of not getting hit. If you go the fast way, you're going to know exactly where they're going. You're going to know exactly they have only got one choice to make. And you'll be able to pick them off quite easily because it's a dangerous route to take between the two items. So there's another frag caught up. Frag difference is now just one as Wolf Snipe is going to need to pick up that Vortex, but he's got all the weapons, all the armor and health that he needs right now. Probably isn't actually going to need that Vortex, as we've seen from his accuracy. It's only 19%, and even with all the spam, he's hitting about the same with the rockets and the grenade launcher. So it's quite an incredible sort of map, this. The, the next is there, but it's not very useful. Whereas you tend to see if the next or the rail launch or whatever isn't useful on a map it's taken out or if it's too overpowered like Frantic. So it's sort of a strange map. It was apparently built for 2v2 in fact. I was told uh, a little while ago it wasn't meant for duel, it was meant for 2v2. Which confused the hell out of me and when I first played it in 2v2 I realised why people just play it in duel. Um, so there's the equaliser. It's now 6-6. Six, six. Got a minute and 13 left to go. Wolf Snipe did promise me some close games, and I was thinking it was slowly starting to get away from him there, but he has pulled it back very, very nicely. I'm very happy with this demo at the minute. Oh, that's a beautiful flick grenade. He's going to try and push back. I don't think he's going to have too much trouble. There's the frag. He's got 45 seconds to survive. He's got a decent little stack. He needs to not take damage from himself. Doesn't want to push in there. Doesn't want to push it. That's clever. He pushed in slightly. But not so much that he took. He didn't take the fight. Seeky knows he's got to push. Seeky knows it's do or die. If Seeky doesn't get this kill, he, if he loses any frags here, he uh, he's out. But if he doesn't get the kill, he's also out. So he has to push so hard. There's still a chance for overtime. 15 seconds left. 
If Seeky goes down here, he's super low. Why is Wolf Sniper even peeking now? He's just got to be careful. Not take the issue. Not go for this item. And he's got one second left. And there it is. A GG. Wolf Snipe takes it on Boyle in a very, very close game between Wolf Snipe and Seeky. Thanks for the game. And GG.